Yeah. I've been feeling like a ninja when I step into the scene Trying to get a win but you are nothing what it seems when I tap in Sending my enemies underwater like a baptist Better be legendary, I don't even need practice on my life Hello guys, it is Silent 9 and today I'm going to show you guys all of the best working glitches in Call of Duty World War 2 on the Frozen Dawn. There's a bunch of really great glitches in this video. Now I'm not going to show you guys all the working just because there's too many teleporting pile ups and the same exact thing. So I don't want to post the same exact thing. So I'm just going to pick three out of the bunch of teleporting glitches and I'm just going to show you guys the best ones. And also there's just a bunch of glitches in this video so stay tuned and you'll probably figure out a new glitch that you didn't know about. But anyways, that's been it for that and let's get right into the founders. Now the founders will be down below in the description just like usual. So make sure to go check them out and tell them that Silent sent me because these are definitely really dope finds. And if you guys are wondering if any of these are patched just make sure to go tell me in the comments below. Say hey is this one patched and I will tell you if it's patched or not so just do that and check the description as well to see if they're patched i should be updating the description to tell you guys which one is patched and which one isn't when i do figure that out but anyways that's about it for that and let's get right into these glitches so the first one is going to be a fully outside of map on the frozen dawn and this one is with the broken flail now if you guys do not know how to get the broken flail make sure to go down below in the description click the first link it's going to lead you to a tutorial on how to upgrade and get the broken flail so make sure to check that out asap and if you guys already know how to get you're good you guys are all good to continue so what you guys want to do is you guys want to come over to the area once you get the broken flail it is where you upgrade the scythe and then you guys want to come over here and you guys want to stand right in front of those rocks right there take out your broken flail aim it exactly like so and throw it now you guys want to wait a couple seconds for it to roll around on there and you guys want to teleport now you guys want to move to your left and right and go back and forth until you hit it in the right spot. It's kind of tricky, but you still want to be around those rocks in order to get it. So yeah guys, just keep throwing it like so and eventually you will get it. It's just very tricky. I should get it right about, you know, in this next attempt. And boom, there you guys go. We got it. So that's how you guys do it. Pretty easy. Not that difficult, but it still will be a little bit tricky at first. But once you get your first try, it shouldn't be too hard. But you guys should be in this location when you do it correctly. And you guys are basically outside the map. You guys can go to a bunch of other locations. Now, let's get right into the pileups. There's about 20 plus pileups with this broken flail. I'm telling you guys, there's a whole lot and there's really nothing different for like any of these. They kind of do the same thing. Most of them you can knife, some of them you can't. And I'm just going to show you guys the top three best of the 20, the top three that you only need to know. These definitely have a fast spawn rate and two of these you can knife in. One of them you can't, but you can't get by the bombers. And these are just the best out of all of them. These are all the ones that you need to know. So let's get right into the first one. So the first one is going to be located right here where I am. I'm on top of where you put the battery in the bowl. And this one is one where you cannot knife, but the bomber zombies cannot get you unless you you actually shoot the bomb yourself they will not come up to you and blow up they will just simply pile up below you which is pretty epic that's why i like this pile up a lot and another thing is that you're in a location where the zombies spawn very fast which is a massive positive so let's get right into how to do with this glitch so what you guys want to do is come all the way over here and get the broken flail now once you guys get the broken flail you can do this glitch i recommend you guys get the upgraded one for sure because that'll help you go through rounds. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go to here. Just this location right here. Now you guys do not want to go against it. You guys want to stand exactly where I do. And then you guys want to look up and aim your teleport grenade right there. And then walk forward. And as soon as you start to walk forward, teleport and continue to walk forward. Easy as that guys. That is how you do that glitch. And it's not that bad guys. It's very easy. And what you guys can do if you have the upgraded flail. Is you can just throw your grenades and turn the zombies. And you can go through rounds like insanely fast. And it's just awesome. Because the zombies do spawn fast like I said. So you definitely won't have problems with going through rounds. That is going to be about it for that pile up. And let's get right into the next one. So this next one is going to be as easy as this one. Actually probably a little bit easier in fact. So definitely won't problems with this one. You will need the broken flail again. So just keep that in mind. 
And what you guys want to do is come over to the bridge again, and you guys want to go up to the armor stand that's on the bridge. You guys want to go in front of it. Again, don't go right against it. Kind of stand a good amount of distance right in front of it. And what you guys want to do is simply take out your broken flail, aim in, and then go all the way up until you can't go up anymore. Throw your grenade. Walk forward. Teleport as you're walking forward, and then keep walking forward. And you should get right on top of his armory stand. And that's about it for that pileup. But let me tell you guys about the positives and negatives. So the first positive is... It's really easy and they all pile up and this is also a fast spawn. The negative is the bomber zombies can get you and they could be a problem. But another positive is you can get the scythe up here, which I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the scythe in this pile up. And that's why I like it so much because you can go through rounds very fast with the scythe and it's just not hard whatsoever. But you also can do the turning thing where you turn them and go through rounds like that. So here's how you get the scythe up here. So the first thing you want to do is build the teleport grenade and the scythe. And once you guys get that, you guys want to go up to the scythe and just simply press square when you have the teleport grenade out. And just keep pressing square and going backwards. And you should bring the scythe and the teleport grenade with you because you're switching them back and forth. And you guys want to go to the armor stand. And once you guys are at the armor stand, you simply want to get into the glitch by going right next to it. Looking up like you see right here. Look up. Walk forward. As soon as you walk forward, teleport and keep walking forward. And you guys can turn around, crouch, and pick up the scythe. And you guys can simply go through like a hundred rounds very easily no problem whatsoever and that's really about it for the pile ups and you might be thinking but there's like 100 other ones but these one are just they're just the best out of all of them if you guys are gonna go through high rounds use these two you won't have a problem they're very easy and that's really that's really it for the pile up so let's get right in to the last glitch which is going to be a god mode yes i'm right there a true walk in god mode that you literally don't have to jump to get through the god mode and it's an actual true god mode where you can walk around and the zombies don't get you it's pretty epic so what you guys will need for this glitch is a scythe and only one person can do this in the game so that's what kind of sucks about it but hey it's god mode it's not that bad and then after you guys get the upgraded scythe you guys are going to be using the cheat death ability that the upgraded scythe has and the way you know that you have the cheat death ability is by looking on your scythe and if you see a yellow glowing stone then you have the cheat death ability now make sure to not lose any armor because if you lose one bit of armor then it's going to use that cheat death ability and you're going to have to get it again and the way to get the cheat death ability is by killing red sizzlers the voices are the ones that have fully charged up so make sure to do that and once you guys get that ready and have the actual scythe fully upgraded and you have a yellow and all the good stuff then you guys are ready to do this glitch so this is how you do it you guys want to get one zombie then you guys want to take out the scythe again make sure that there is a yellow stone that is glowing and you guys want to go next to the mystery box so you guys want to take the zombie and you want him to hit you two times then as soon as that zombie hits you two times you want to fall off the map instantly now you'll know you did it right if you didn't hear that sound of the scythe when it's a cheat death ability and you'll know when to do it if you see that you do not regen any health whatsoever now what you guys want to do after you do it you guys want to have the people end the round so you spawn back in then once you guys spawn back in and you see that you have the yellow glowing stone still then you did the glitch properly and you have the god mode so that's really about it easy as that guys it's how you do the god mode and the only way to lose this god mode is by placing the weapon down on the pedestals or just switching it out with a different weapon so don't do that you will not lose it if you fall off the map or any of that stuff you'll still have it and you'll be all fine so that's what it for this compilation of all of the best glitches now there's definitely a bunch of great glitches in this video and I just didn't go into all the pileups just because there's like too many of those teleporting pileups. And you do the same thing. Like it's just not useful to do that. I would have to say it's better if I just go through two that are the best. So that's about it. Definitely expect a more dope content like this when Black Ops 4 comes out. And we're going to be covering glitches, easter eggs, and uh, more. So, so if you like zombies, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But anyways, that's about it for that. And let's get right into the question of the day. So today's question of the day is going to be, do you think Black Ops 4 will have character challenges? Definitely go to the top right, right now, click on the little eye, and then vote on the question of the day. And once you guys vote on the question of the day, make sure to tell me below in the comments what you put for the question of the day. 
And for that question, I would have to say no because it's just usually like a sledgehammer thing. It looks like it looks like sledgehammer is gonna be continuing this with the character challenges, and Treyarch is probably just gonna do something new and better. So that's it for that question of the day, and let's get right to the trick questions. So the answer to the last trick question is going to be an 18th carat ring. Good job to Miranda for getting right. Thank you so much for participating. Definitely a lot. Make sure to go check out Miranda down below in the comments and tell Miranda that's how nine it sent me. But that's what it for that. And let's get right to the next trick question. So next trick question is going to be, which is heavier, two pounds of bricks or two pounds of feathers? And so down below, and if the first person with the right, they come in pending, you will get a shout out next video. You will get one shout out per week. But that's what it. Hopefully you enjoyed tonight's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Empire of the Ninja team today. Because you know what be a ninja? We have peace sounds. And I'm close down tonight. But anyways, that's what it. Peace to see you in video. Have a great day. I just wanna find my place I've been feeling like a ninja when I step into the scene Trying to get a win but you're nothing what it seems When I tap in cinema